The following instructions teach you how to use Report Form Pro 2 on an Android device. Keep in mind, depending on which model of Android device you are using, the screen may look slightly different than what you see here in the video. However, all of the same functionality is available. To begin, tap on the Report Form Pro 2 icon on your smartphone or tablet. Tap on New Inspection Report to begin a new inspection. Start entering the information on page 1 about your inspection company by tapping on each item and entering information. If this is your first time using the software, you will need to save your logo to your photo gallery. You can simply take a photo of your logo with your device by tapping on the camera icon or email a digital logo to yourself and save it to your photo gallery so you can insert it from your library. Tap on a line item such as gate at the top of page 2. This will open the rating area for each item. Tap on satisfactory, fair, poor, or NA to give each item a rating. Next you have the option to enter notes. Tap into the Notes section and your keyboard will appear on your device. Tap in Notes one letter at a time or tap on the microphone icon to incorporate voice to text by speaking clearly into your device. This allows for faster note writing. When done entering notes, tap away from the Notes section and the keyboard will disappear. To add an optional photo to your report, simply tap on the Add Photo button. Just the same as entering your business logo, you will have the option to take a photo or choose one from your library. After you choose a photo for the report, it will appear in the photo section. If you decide to delete the photo, simply tap on the photo again and tap on confirm to delete. If you do not want to delete the photo, tap on cancel. When you are satisfied with the information entered for a particular field, you will have two methods for navigating through the report. The first option is to simply tap the next button in the upper right hand corner, which will take you into the rating area for the next item on your checklist. The other option is to tap the back button on the upper left hand corner of your screen, which will take you back to the entire list of items for the last page you were on in the report. As you can see here, there is a green check indicating you have given a rating for the item. If you included a photo, you will also be able to see the photo icon as well. Continue to fill out the information using the same method until you reach page 6, Additional Details. This page gives you the opportunity to add custom items to the report. To add detail, tap on the blue plus sign in the upper right hand corner of your screen. After you tap on the blue plus sign, tap on name and give the item a title. Just like all other typical items found in the report, you may rate each custom item and add optional photos. When you are finished with the item, simply tap done in the upper right hand corner. You may also delete each custom item at any time by tapping on the delete button. After you have entered all the custom items needed for your report, you can tap on the next button in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Now you will be on page 7, the summary page. From here you will enter a summary of your report. Tap in the summary area to enter your summary information. You may type or use voice to text. To create your PDF file, tap on the finish button in the lower right hand corner of your screen. You will now be automatically taken back to the home page. A message will appear stating that your inspection has been completed. If you have a large report full of photos, this may take a minute or so. Please be patient. Tap on View Edit Reports. From here, you can choose View, Edit, Print, and Share the PDF report. All reports are listed by the address and you can see when each report was created as well as modified. Tap on the report you're working on and a window will appear. Tap on View to see your report. A box will appear asking you to confirm. Tap on Confirm to continue. Please give the application time to process your report. This time may vary based on the amount of information in your report. Now you will see your report appear. If you plan on delivering the report immediately, you will be able to look over the report right on your device. To navigate through each page of your report, tap on the Previous and Next button on the bottom of the page. 
When you are done reviewing the report, hit the back button in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. This will take you back to the page where you can share or edit the report. Editing your report is optional. You may skip this step if you are satisfied with the report. If you would like to make any changes to your report, simply tap on the Edit button. This will bring you back into the original form used to create the report. You can always go back and add or remove photos or edit text as needed. When done editing, go through the report navigation to the summary page again and tap on Finish Report. If you would like to share or print your report, tap on the Share button. This screen allows you to share your report with any compatible printer. The easiest way to send a report is via email. In this example, we are using Gmail. So tap on the Gmail icon and a new email will be composed. Your report will already be attached, so just input your client's email address in the To line and tap on Send. In Gmail, the Send button is the paper airplane icon in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Tap on it and your email will be sent. Occasionally, you may have a report that is too large to send via email. If this is the case, you may use Google Drive to upload your file to the cloud and be able to share your report from Google Drive. To do this, tap on the report you want to save to Drive and then tap on the Share button you should see the Google Drive icon listed as an option. Tap on the icon and your PDF report will be loaded instantly. You can now name your file. Double check that the file is being saved to the proper Google account and finally hit save. Once your report is uploaded to Google Drive, you can go into your Gmail account, compose a new email to your client, tap on the paperclip in the upper right hand corner and select insert from Drive. Highlight your report from Google Drive and tap on Select. You will now be able to email your client a link so they can download the report. Congratulations! You have now created your first inspection report using Report Form Pro 2. For questions on using Google Drive, visit support.google.com. For any questions about Report Form Pro 2, please email staff at homeinspectionform.com or call 866-892-4396.